The great thing about growing outside is infinite air exchange. The outside elements are the great equalizers in keeping some diseases such as mildew, rust, and some funguses at bay. But if you're like me, growing indoors is beyond a hobby. It's an obsession. And it's this growing indoors that introduces new sets of challenges and even sometimes roadblocks in how we maximize our crops while keeping our plants super healthy. So let's do two things today. Let's discuss one of the major parameters of indoor growing, which is air exchange. And let's review the Sung Life 12 inch high velocity greenhouse fan in the process. So let's get to it. So why do plants need moving air? After all, they're surrounded by air at all times, even when growing indoors. Surely that's enough for them, isn't it? Well, it isn't, and especially not indoors. Air circulation is vitally important for many reasons, but today we're just gonna focus on two. Reason number one is the exchange of air. Like us, all plants respire to complete their life processes. As plants photosynthesize, they consume carbon dioxide to convert sunlight into chemical energy. So, during the light cycle of the day, the plant needs a steady supply of CO2 to complete this process. Conversely, plants also need oxygen. It's a common misconception that plants don't need it, but they do. Plant cells are very similar to ours. They use oxygen to respire and they do this constantly. Flushing out that old air and replacing it with new stuff is vital to maintain optimal growth for terrestrial plants like our veggie crops. The second reason that we need to circulate the air for our indoor plants is because of transpiration. Plants need water, we all know this, but only a fraction of the water is used for growth and metabolism. In fact, the rest, up to 99%, is actually lost to transpiration. For those of you that don't know what transpiration is, it's just the evaporation of water through the plant's leaves and stems through little pores called stomata. So with plants constantly emitting water from their leaves, it is vital to have a proper airflow to carry that water vapor away. Even the hottest, most humid tropical rainforest have massive amounts of air exchange moving over the leaves of the plants that are there. So, without this airflow in your greenhouse or for your indoor crops, you run the severe risk of promoting mold and fungal infections. Get that air moving. Now that we know the why, let's discuss the how and check out this fan. The Sun Life High Velocity Fan is a floor tilting 12 inch unit with 12 speed settings and an all aluminum construction designed to withstand high humidity. It's available on Amazon for under $70, comes fully assembled, and with the 4400 milliamp lithium ion battery, it's also fully portable. Delivery was fast, as expected with Amazon Prime, and the packaging was impressive, yet efficient. The back panel houses the controls as well as the DC plug-in and a USB port, but more on that later. Included is the AC adapter plug which powers the unit when in use and charges the battery when it's not. I would have liked to see a larger cord, most definitely, 
but at such a low wattage, any 18 gauge extension cord will fix that. Turning the unit on, it is indeed quiet for the amount of air that it's moving. Even in use, the power bank will still begin to charge itself, with the battery indicator level right beside the speed settings. Now, for that USB port. As the unit has a 4400 milliamp battery, Sun Life has decided to let it double as a power bank. This way we can charge things like cell phones and tablets. Pretty cool feature and handy for camping or even working out in a detached greenhouse. Situated properly, the Sun Life 12 inch fan moves more than enough air for my 400 square foot greenhouse. Given the all metal construction, the power bank features, the quiet operation, and decent airflow with a price under $70, I think this guy earns a well-deserved five ripe tomatoes. Hey, thanks for watching guys. If you're getting value in this and the other series that I'm doing on YouTube, hit those like, share, and subscribe buttons if you'd be so kind, and I'll see you in the next video.